Low platelet count is very dangerous, especially if you're starting to bleed within inside your organism without even knowing about it. You might have micro bleeding in your arteries, your intestines, your even your nostrils or any other part of your body without being entirely conscious that this is happening. Also known in medicine as thrombocytopenia, it's a stage where your body is not being able to produce more platelets than your body really needs to stay healthy. To have a good circulatory health or a good blood count that that will actually help you instead of causing you a disease. How can you solve thrombocytopenia? How can you increase the platelet count in your blood? What are the best foods? What are the best practices? How can you make sure your body is absorbing nutrients in order for your blood to be produced the way you need it to? Thrombocytopenia is a condition, a health condition, where your bone marrow doesn't make enough platelets the way it should. This means there are not enough platelets to form blood clots to help stop bleeding. Micro bleedings, maybe in your arteries, in your veins, in your digestive system, which by the way can happen in any point in your body, your circulation, or any single tissue you might be thinking you have. This is a serious condition that can be helped naturally, especially if you know exactly what to eat, what to do, and what practices you need to put in place in order for your body to be stimulated with the production of new platelets you are needing. Number one, good quality nutrition for the formation of platelets. Platelets are a part of the formation of blood obviously. And when it comes to nutrition factors, it's extremely important for your body to have all the ingredients in order to be able to form good quality blood. And in blood, I also mean platelets. Platelets are a part of that formation of blood, which is actually one single process that has many different steps. And your body does need iron, does need B vitamins, it does need vitamin D when you go out to the sun, it does need good quality antioxidants, vitamin C, ingredients that are going to help with the formation and the absorption of nutrients for your bone marrow to function. If you do not have enough of these ingredients, well, obviously you will not be able to form good quality blood. And this is where that platelet count comes into place. You need iron, you need good quality red meats, you need eggs, you need quality oils, you need good quality fruits and vegetables in order for your body to absorb them and later down the road be able to produce good quality blood. Sometimes low platelet counts can be the result of extreme diets or maybe sometimes not a good quality nutritious diet that end up in the result of not a good formation of blood. If you need something natural for this purpose, look for multivitamin, D enzymes, probillion, and at the same time, metathyroid from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two, you need to be able to absorb these nutrients. A lot of people eat organic foods. They eat excellent diets every single day, but they forget that the body is not being able to absorb everything we're eating in order to form that blood the way we need it to. If you don't have enough enzymes, if you don't have enough probiotics, if you have a damaged intestinal tissue, well, guess again, you won't be able to absorb what you need in order to form a good platelet count. And this has a lot to do with probiotics, with the diet you are consuming every day, with wheat, genetically modified goods or foods or packaged foods that are damaging your stomach lining and in the end will cause a low platelet count or anemia or malabsorption just because you can't absorb the nutrients that are supposed to be dense, destined to the formation of platelets. This is extremely important and sometimes just the vitamin C that will help with the absorption of iron or even uh, enzymes or probiotics will solve the problem. Problem. It may not be a problem with diet, it may be due to a, an issue with the absorption of your diet. And this comes with a great impact if you know how to solve it. I suggest you consume enzymes, you consume probiotics and vitamins that contain everything you need for this purpose. If you need something effective and natural for this purpose, look for D-enzymes, probillion, and at the same time, multivitamin and appleizer from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number three, there needs to be good blood flow. A lot of people don't realize the importance of having a good blood flow in order for your bone marrow to recognize that you don't have enough platelets. This is extremely important because our body has sensors all around, especially where it needs to form these platelets, which is the bone marrow. If you're having arrhythmias, if you're having low blood pressure, or you're having even high blood pressure, or you're not exercising, you're having a sedentary lifestyle, you're sitting around all day, well, there's a chance that all these sensors are not going to be activated because you're not having a good blood flow to your bone marrow. Your bone marrow is not even using the, the pressure it needs 
the blood pressure it needs to form good blood because it doesn't really find a need to do this. So this is extremely important. You need exercise. You need to walk, run, have some physical activity. Make sure that you are moving constantly in order for your blood to be able to stay healthy and your bone marrow to be able to form what is being needed at that exact moment. If you need something natural that will help you with circulation, look for Oncardio, Metathyroid, and Vein Flow from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. This is something very important. It is something you need to consider when you're trying to improve your blood quality, your circulation, and that platelet count. Number four, you need to stay away from depression and be emotionally stable and happy in order for your blood to be produced the way you need it. This is something extremely important that many people are not considering. And it's the fact that your body or your brain is going to give your bone marrow orders when it really wants to live. I'll give you an example. If you're happy and joyful and entirely emotionally stable, you're not depressive, you're not melancholic, you're not in a situation where you don't really want to live, where well, your body is going to constantly be trying to promote the production of new tissue, new blood, and new stimuli that is going to have an effect in the quality of your blood. This is something extremely, extremely central to the formation of every single tissue in our bodies. And when we are depressed, the body doesn't really need good quality blood because it doesn't want to even go through the process of making it. That emotional state I'm talking about is going to benefit the formation of every single tissue and regenerate whatever you're needing in order to survive. And this is just a basic state of mind. It's a basic state of emotional stress or emotional, emotional stage that is going to make things a lot easier for your body to function. Remember, if you're happy, you have good blood flow. If you're happy, you're going to be able to absorb all the nutrients you're digesting because your body's going to want them in order to function. If you're not happy, if you're depressed, if you're melancholic, if you want something that is not aligned with wanting to live, well, obviously your body's not going to react the way you want it. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share. And don't forget that you need every single one of these steps in order for things to be extremely effective the way you need them to. I'll see you in the next video and God bless you all. Take care.